In today's video, we're going to look at the Voltaic benchmarks in Kovacs 2.0, the meta, what they are, and how to use them, so stick around. What is going on, Angels? The Champ Strider here, and today we dive into the Voltaic benchmarks for Kovacs. And if you've ever tried out any of the other aim trainers, you probably notice most of them have some sort of ranking system. Aiming Pro has the global aim ranks, Aim Beast has the seasonal rankings, and uh, and I know Aim Labs also has a ranking system. But Kovacs, even though it's pretty universally regarded as the gold standard for aim trainers, does not actually have a built-in ranking system. So history lesson, this guy who was really into aim and aim training made his own system of, of training and assessing the different aspects of aim. And these were called Sparky's benchmarks. And these benchmarks changed over time as aim training progressed. And they've been rebranded now as the Voltaic benchmarks. And the Voltaic team, they have many members now. They have content creators. And they, they provide a, just a ton of resources for aim training for the community. And while they do have like a website or blog thing, most of their stuff is found easiest by just joining their discord and there's going to be the link for that in the description and actually any of the any of the documents i talk about are also going to be linked in the description below so there's going to be quite a few links so the first thing we're going to need to get started with doing or training the Voltaic Benchmarks is this spreadsheet right here. And if this is your first experience with the Voltaic Benchmarks, I want you to hit the tab right here that says Intermediate Requirements. And you're going to notice that the Voltaic Benchmarks are broken into three categories, clicking, tracking, and target switching, with two subcategories for a total of 18 drills. You're going to probably want to spend the time to make a playlist in Kovacs with all 18 of them so you don't have to search them every time you play because it just takes too much time. And if you set up your playlist, you're going to go ahead and play each exercise once or twice and plug the high scores into the spreadsheet. And just expect to get served a, a little bit of humble pie here because the Voltaic benchmarks, even the easy version, are not, are not made for the faint of heart. And you have to remember with stuff like aim training, it's a niche and uh, rank aim training is a niche in a niche. So I was actually talking with my friend uh, Silky about this the other day while we we're playing Insurgency. But uh, someone who ranks in silver voltaic is just much above aim wise your average PC aimer or gamer. And the advanced tab where you go past diamond, it's really for people in the top 1% to 2% in raw aiming. So what I'm getting at is, uh, is don't be put off by your initial ranking. All right, so once you have your spreadsheet and your rankings complete, what a lot of people do, and it's really tempting, uh, is they just start spamming the benchmarks over and over for weeks and months of time, and the Voltaic benchmarks become their aim training routine. And while this would actually be a pretty decent routine, they're not actually intended to be your main source of aim training. Remember, they're benchmark marks, so they're intended to track your progress over time, not make you progress. What you're really supposed to do here is you take your ranking and you go to this document right here and you scroll down to your ranking. Let's, so let's say you ranked into gold and they have an aim training routine for people at your skill level. And this training routine is what's supposed to be where you spend the majority of your actual training time and it's designed to help you progress to the next tier of the Voltaic benchmarks. So since you're supposed to spend the majority of your training time on the actual training routine, let's talk about how often you should go back to the benchmarks to reassess yourself. And look, people are, are not patient. We know this. And everyone wants instant gratification. They want to rank up as fast as possible. So I would ideally recommend doing them every two weeks, like just every second Friday, spend an hour of your training or whatever, just grinding each scenario a few times. And like when I train, I do these benchmarks, I do three runs and move on to the next drill. I very rarely do more runs than that because I'm kind of of the, uh, of the opinion that if you grind the drill like a hundred times in a row and you just wait until you get a really good enough RNG to, to get to whatever, whatever rank you're going for. It just, to me, means then that you're not really at that level if you have to grind it that much. And if you're doing like that, I feel like the aim training becomes less about improving your aim for, for gaming or just getting better. And it becomes more of a grind to, to get that Discord ranking for the clout, which, let's face it, at the end of the day, you get absolutely nothing in life from that. So I just like it to be a little bit more organic when you get those ranks. And I'm also cool with doing them once a week if you're, you're just not patient enough to, to wait the two weeks just doing them every Friday. That's fine, too. 
And I do want to just point out that uh, variety in training is always a really good thing. And I actually started doing the Voltaic benchmarks after I'd been on Kovacs for a bit. And I actually make and use my own routines. I'm just one of those people who I like to assess and evaluate things myself and come up with my own solutions. Um, so just remember that the Voltaic routines, they are a way. But there's no necessarily best routine. And I just encourage everyone to throw as much variety in your training as you can because your brain and your body always reacts really good to switching things up. All right, guys, so before I let you go, my goal this summer is to hit the master's tier in the Voltaic benchmarks. Let me know what your AIM training goals are for this summer in the comments down below. And of course, if you're joining us for the first time, become an angel by just smashing the subscribe button. I release Kovacs FPS AIM training content every single week. And if, uh, if you're already an angel, make sure you hit the like button. I'll see you guys later in the week. Champ, out.